Hello everyone, my name is Harvind and in today's demonstration I will be walking you through as to how you can do entity profiling. In other words, the foreign key profiling from within Informatica State Data Management 952 HF2. The agenda for the video is this. First, let's uh, see how you can set up profiling inside of Test Data Management. How to run a profile, then uh, monitor the same from within the Test Data Management as well as the Admin Console. Once we do that, we can also go ahead and verify the results. Now, let's jump onto the demonstration. What you're seeing now is the Informatica's Test Data Management Workbench. It's a simple, easy to use web based graphical user interface. You don't have to code anything. You can just uh, do everything by just with the uh, click, clicks of your mouse and uh, pressing few keys. So, to do the profiling, the first step you need to do is to enable the data profiling option. So, in this case, I have already enabled. If not, please make sure uh, the enable data profiling option is yes. Once that is done, you need to go ahead and configure which MRS and DAS you are going to use. So, clicking on this will uh, provide you with the option to use the different MRSs and uh, DASs that you might have configured. So, it will provide you the domain name and uh, clicking on add will help you add different domains. So, once you add the MRS and DAS, the next step is to create a project for today's demonstration, I have already created one and uh, imported the metadata as well. So, if you see, let us uh, go ahead and look at the data itself. If you look into the uh, UI, we can see that the employee 2 table does not have any relationship. Let us see if there is any relationship between the table employee 2 and the employee. How do we do that? We need to go ahead and create a profile. Let me quickly create a profile called as entity profile. and uh, choose the type of profiling. In this case, I am choosing entity profiling. Go ahead and choose the tables that uh, you would like to add. So, let me add uh, employee and employee 2, that is it. And uh, next. So, like we did for the primary key profiling as well, you have the options to go ahead and uh, override the default uh, inference options. Let me click save. So, all you need to do is go ahead and quickly execute it and uh, which will run the profile. So, when you run the profile, one thing that you should be aware of is the data source name should be the same as the connection name. Let me quickly give execute. Once I click on execute, you should be able to see that uh, it is in queue already, which is a nice thing. And uh, as I click, it's, it is yet to start. So, let us uh, give it a minute and uh, let it start. While this starts, let us also go ahead and see how you can uh, monitor the profile from within the admin console. So, one place is to monitor in here, the next place is to go ahead and monitor inside of the admin console. Go to the monitoring tab, click on the domain and uh, click on actions, click on global settings. You need to configure this for you to be able to monitor the profile from within the admin console. And once you are done, just go ahead and click on jobs. This will tell you the various jobs that are running. And uh, we just uh, kicked off a profiling job in there and that has reflected and you can see that the profiling job is running successfully. Let us go here and uh, you can also see the status is running and uh, as I click here, you should be seeing uh, how the profile runs. Now, you can see the status is success and uh, if you see the profiling has been executed successfully and that is the same inside of the admin console as well. Now, let me go ahead and open up the profile and we created a profile called entity profile you can see the data source that we included. If we click on the entity tab, we can see that uh, it has found a relationship. The relationship says there is there might be a relationship between the employee 2 and the employee table and uh, the confirmation per person is under person. Let me verify this. Um, so, for to verify you might have to click on this row and then. Uh, so, yes, it is verified which means it has run across the entire data set instead of just a few rows or sample rows and we can specify the sample rows when we ran the profile and uh, I can go ahead and approve it. Approving this will add a key at the application level. So, you can see the status is approved. This approval process will create a logical foreign key at the application level. This way you can qu quickly create applications within the or keys at the application level using Informatica's test data management 952 and HF2. And that's br that brings us to the end of the demonstration. We would love to hear from you and if you have any questions, please drop us an email to support videos at informatica.com or you can also reach out to us at the Twitter handle twitter.com slash infasupport. 
thank you for your time and you all have a wonderful